hello everybody welcome or welcome back so a few i don't know maybe a few weeks ago a couple weeks ago maybe it was a week ago maybe it was a few days ago time don't get it don't understand it i posted a tour of all my journals and people seem to really enjoy that so i thought it would be fun to maybe do a little journal with me video because i showed this journal in it which i basically like to make spreads of my favorite books in I've only done like four so far, but I thought it would be fun to do another one because I've been meaning to and I thought it would be a good idea to film it so I can show you guys how I put together my spreads because I do it kind of formulaic at this point because I'm not the most creative. Well, I am creative, but I'm also like a little bit of a perfectionist. So stuff like this stresses me out to do because I want it to be perfect and I've kind of like figured out the format that I like so I thought it'd be fun to show you we need to pick what book I want to do so in the front of this I have some sticky notes which I made this a long time ago um of like a bunch of books that I wanted to do I don't know how many of these I'm still like feeling but we're gonna have a look go through some of these so now there's some options that are just like feel too big to get into because it's like really care about that you know what i mean so like, i have the addicted series that feels kind of intense but maybe we could break it down couple by couple do three spreads couple by couple does that sound fun we can start with lily and low okay so that's number one option for today uh lily and low addicted series kind of spread because lily and low are my favorite um also fourth wing i haven't done yet and that was my favorite book of last year I don't know because I find this doesn't really give fantasy you know what I mean I have a fantasy this is my Court of Mist and Fury it, it feels a little bit more creative it feels a little bit more out of my wheelhouse it feels a little bit more scary I don't know if I'm really ready to get into that so mm, not sure about that also love theoretically another book that I love don't know where to go with that though either because we want to bring the science elements in. These are just a little bit more out of my comfort zone right now. At least it feels that way. After some careful consideration, I'm fe I'm feeling addicted. I'm feeling Lily and Low. I've been thinking about them a lot recently. Um, I just got Krista and Becca Ritchie's new book. So I've just had their books on my mind. Love the couple. So yeah, I think we're going to do a Lily and Low spread. That's going to be a double page. Definitely. First things first. I like to go on Pinterest and find pictures that I want to include, also like quotes and stuff, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, starting off, we've looked up Addicted Series Aesthetic. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a Pinterest board with all the pictures that I'm liking and then go from that, make a document to print out. Okay, this very much. So I'm just coming up book face claims. I have a Pinterest board of all my book face claims because of course I do. Oh, because do we want to include this? It's kind of negative, <laughs> but it's real. You know what I mean? <laughs> Silhouettes of people, like for example, this kind of situation. Because what I like to do is I like to like cut around them and it's like kind of like a cool effect in the, in the book. I am an artist. Also, this is a good one. Okay, so now we're getting into a situation where there's too many. This is a good one too. Okay, yeah, we're really, we're really making some moves. That's a great one for Daisy and Rag. Okay, let's just hope it's still there. Ew! No one needed to see that. Love Lily and Low. Lily and Low are just absolutely my favourite. I think it says a lot about you which couple, even just which like person is your favourite. I don't think I have a specific favourite person in the Addicted series, but because I, I do love them all and for different reasons but i definitely think lily and low are my favorite couple i just love like 
I love a book couple when it's like they're in their own universe and that's very them I'm very into that I think it's really cute okay I'm gonna keep looking and we'll get back okay <laughs> that took a while as we can see I have accumulated some pictures on word, do word, docu word documents this is my least favorite part because for some reason every time I try and put a picture it all goes and it all like do you know what I mean? Like it never stays where I want it to. It just it combobulates and it, I can't put it in into like perfect squares because it will just like switch up on me. And uh, But we've got it. So they're all like in their own space. So it's fine. Um, usually I try and like envision what the size I want for each picture. So the sizes are correct. But I was getting a bit discombobulated so I couldn't do that. So we're left with this. I'm going to print these out. Usually I would add my next part onto this i'll tell you about it in a minute but like i said it's doing fucking cartwheels on the page so i'm not going to do that for fear that it will do something so we're just going to waste a piece of paper so sorry i actually always keep my scrap papers because i always need scrap paper i have some right here evidence um so yeah i'm gonna print this out and then we are gonna move to my next thing for the go this is where I go onto my Spotify and I pick some song lyrics because as you can see if you look closely I like to can you see them there's some find songs that for me kind of relate to the book relate to the characters whatever and then take lyrics take little screenshots of them and then put them in because I think it's like really cute it's like a little personalized thing I like What's helpful is that I know that I have a specific addicted playlist. I went for a phase when I wanted to make playlists for every single book I was reading. And luckily I made one when I was reading Addicted After All, which kind of just became a overall addicted series. Here we are. It's called Kiss the Sky With Me and Don't Ever Come Down. Lily and I are my favourite couple, but when I was looking up quotes, I wanted to like make the title not a single one that I could find from them that felt right so this is what we went with um okay so we're gonna go through these songs pick a few first things first lucky by um Jason Raz is that how you say his name and Colby Kayla I guess this is my like number one Lily and Lowe song so we'll be picking a lyric from here I'll show it the, you at the end what lyrics I pick because it's gonna like I need to like format it and stuff lucky okay we have champagne problems which is a good one appreciate it this one's very good as well for them the thing is all of them work really well because it's you who somehow is always the first to take care of me at my worst are you kidding okay maybe maybe because i need that wait they're all good wait what do i do okay i'm definitely gonna pick one from i love you 3000 this is such a cringe song but it's just so perfect for lily and low baby take my head i want you to be my husband if i wish myself a superpower i would make this moment last for hours we need that okay hey i'm gonna try not to pick a taylor because they always just end up being taylor that's gonna be really hard though you just took me by surprise love this now horror one friends don't that's a good one wish you were sober no we're not going there oh no we are gonna have to do a Taylor Swift one because we're gonna have to do the line in you are in love which is pauses and says you're my best friend and he knew what it was you know what he was he is in love we're gonna have to do this lyric that's one of my like one of my favorite all-time lyrics I want a tattoo um that says you are a lover which is like a combination of you are in love and lover because those songs like for me encapsulate like love just like love Oh my god you are in love why was that really hard i'm gonna actually have a lot okay so i'm gonna go pick a bunch and then i'll show you uh we have because it's you somehow who's always the first to take care of me at my worst what was that was that appreciated or photograph mm, i thought it was appreciated because you're my iron man and i love you three thousand stop if i wished myself a superpower i'd make this moment last for hours was that photograph 
girl i don't know if you want go look at my playlist um pauses and says you're my best friend and you knew what it was he is in love it's obviously taylor swift my baby's fit like a daydream walking with his head down i'm the one he's walking to is that not so low mm. obviously taylor swift and you make me feel like maybe i am somebody i think that's ed sharon and then lucky i'm in love with my best friend lucky to have been where i've been that song lucky is just the ultimate lily and low song for me okay i'm gonna format these i make them like roughly a centimeter give or take each like width wise some will be a bit bigger some will be a bit smaller um most of these will be bigger because most of these aren't like a singular line they're like a paragraph so i'm gonna do that print this out i also have the books here because i forgot to add those and sometimes i like to add the books so i'm gonna print all this out and then we're gonna get to snip it writing process with grammarly's generative empower your students Okay, I just cut out all of my stuff. Put this to the side for a second because I need to make a little title. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this though because I kind of want it to be in the same addicted font. I don't know if I can really if I can really do that, but I'm gonna try. Because God loves a trier. Yeah, that actually went so much better than I thought it would. That looks like pretty accurate. pretty accurate um okay so i'm gonna cut this out i might make a little series like write series to go under it but for now this is what we've got cut this out i'm gonna get to laying things out this is the the bulk the hardest part as well because it's like like i said i'm a perfectionist so it's gonna be a lot of rejigging so Okay, so we've got the layout. I'm ha pretty happy with it, I think. I think it looks good. I don't know. No. Yeah, I do. Um, so now I've got the layout down. I'm going to take a photo of it and then I'll pull that up. Kind of push all of them off onto my like desk, try and keep them in like roughly the right position and then refer to the photo to stick them all back in. I'm gonna need my phone to do this, so I'll be back when that's done. Okay, I've taken the liberty of finding quotes to fill up the empty space. I haven't like written them in. I've just done pencil so far, which by the way, really pissed off because my rubbers are like, just, they just smush the, the pencil everywhere. So every time I've tried to rub something out, I don't know if you can see, it's like left a gray cast, which is, so pretty i love it it's really beautiful quotes i found i just went on goodreads to the books you scroll down to the bottom there's like a section of quotes click on it all quotes so i picked a few from that it looks kind of crazy um with the pencil i won't know what it's gonna actually look like until i've done it in pen sometimes it turns out really good sometimes it doesn't so we're gonna have to find out um but yeah gonna do that some of it is a bit like kooky like sometimes i'll like write the whole sentence in capitals and then change just a few words to be like different fonts like if it's a love like it'll be in like a cursive font um and sometimes that looks really good sometimes it turns out like not that cute so we will see you will see i will see we'll see
we are finished. I think it came out really cute. I like it a lot. The only thing that annoys me is the blue and the red like lyric things. I wish they were all either just white or gray because of all the pink kind of clashes a little bit. But overall, this turned out really, really cute. I think it's actually one of my new favorites. Every time I do them, they get better and I look at the old ones and I'm like, that's not giving as much as I thought it was. Why do I talk like that? Oh my God. Um, but yeah, that was really cute. And it didn't take that long. It's like four. I've been, actually I've been doing it since I woke up. So that did take a while. But we're done now. Thank you so much for joining me for this little journaling excursion. I hope it gave you some ideas maybe to do um, your own journaling, especially if you find it really overwhelming. Like I do like the idea of having to like put it all together. I feel like the system I've come up with for myself of like how I lay it out. Um, like the formula of how to do it is pretty foolproof so give it a go you might have a good time <laughs> give it a go you might have a good time i'm gonna let you go now thank you so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed this let me know and i'll do some more journal related things yeah bye